Hey guys, Crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. And we're back with Demon Slayer, and uh, Mitsuri is back in the fight. She has yep. entered the chat. Um, so we're going to see what that does uh, now that she's here, because I've kind of been anticipating this. Mm -hmm. And we only have two episodes left. Yeah. And I thought that she was going to be in more than three episodes. So now we have to judge, is it enough? We have to judge the intro based on how much she's in these next two episodes and how yeah. impactful she is against the theory of fan service. True. But counterpoint, her explaining how she, she she's their sword might have been enough already. <laughs> it's just like this. <laughs> yeah. How? So it's just that she eats <laughs> so many sakura rice cakes. <laughs> that was the one thing I was like, why did her hair change color? Yeah. That wasn't the answer in the outro. Wow, okay. Oh, man. Ah, that's funny. Ugh. You know, I feel I feel so foolish. Like, fool me once, shame on, you know, you. But fool me twice. Like, when I was a kid, I would watch Dragon Ball Z on Toonami. Yeah. Right? And there was always an intro to Dragon Ball Z. And I was up, I don't know, I was watching up, you know, the Saiyan saga, the Namek, you know, all that stuff. And I was getting up to the Frieza saga. And this intro had this fucking blonde guy. And I was like, who's the blonde guy? It was Goku. Yeah. It happened again. It did. <laughs> She's wearing the same outfit with the same hairstyle. And I'm going, who the fuck's that? I was like, maybe she's his sister. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so mad. It happened again. It's not going to give me a third time. Oh, it will. No. It will. <laughs> no. Because we rely so heavily on hair color and style to differentiate characters yeah. in anime. I know. But do you know how dumb I felt? Because I kept waiting like, man, Goku getting his ass beat. When's this blonde guy going to show up? And Goku was the blonde guy. It was... I mean, I was little, but I can't be an excuse because I'm I'm in my thirties now, and it's still happening. Yeah. Oh, you're like that. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. Dude, when Tanjiro was chasing that little demon, like you can't run away from your sins. <laughs> he went so hard. I love that. Yeah, I love the voice actor. There. I would get frustrated at him, too, because all, all that little guy does is run away. I know. And hide and, and shit. And cries. Like, well, I'm, I've done, you know, terrible, terrible things, but I never I'm lied a, about I'm it. I'm a virtuous like, demon. Yeah, so did Perfect Cell. <laughs> he never, I literally never lied. Okay, all right. I feel like... Did you hear that one? Yeah. I feel like some answers were given that we've been looking forward to. Uh, Genya... Eats demons. Yeah. And the stronger the demon, the more powerful he becomes. I know we talked before about like some type of steroid. That's kind of what it is. That is. It can't it's be good. Straight up just There's gotta be diminishing returns for that. Yeah. Like the next seven days are gonna be like constipation. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happens next, but there's gotta be a consequence to that, but I mean, hey, dude has a strong bite. Yeah, I mean, when I look, when I compare humans to the animal kingdom, like the one thing we don't have that so many animals have is they can kill you with their face. Yeah, I can't kill you with my face. I mean, you can, just not nearly as easily. No, because your jaw just doesn't open up mm -mm. big enough to I mean, envelop yeah. another person's head. Like, I can take some fingers and stuff, I suppose, but yeah. a strong person will just shove them down my throat when I try, you know? I have a terrible gag reflex. I went to the dentist the other day. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And she was like, like I, never, I haven't seen one this active before. I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, she was like scanning my mouth. I haven't been to the dentist in so long. She was scanning my mouth with all this new technology. She's like, if you get really uncomfortable, just put your hand up. And the first thing she does is just go, because I still have my wisdom teeth. Yeah. So she and goes there all the way to the back. Apparently, she's like, I don't have to, I usually don't have to go this deep. <laughs> and then she just shut it down my throat. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love it when when people who do their job every day are yeah. like, you may feel a slight discomfort, 
Like the worst pain you felt yeah, all year. I know. Ugh. Oh, did that hurt? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, son of a bitch. Uh, so he's devouring demons, and then we also have the idea of a demon's crest. Yeah. How do you? How does one get a demon's crest? Maybe. Because now we have three examples of it. Yeah. With Tondro, with um, the Miss Hashira, and now with with Mitsuri. Though, I mean, the other two felt more like scars, and this one felt more like a design. So maybe there is uh, a distinction. Maybe. But the design might be like a flame. Yeah. And then the scar or the mark looks like a... True. Uh, the mark, rather, looks like a scar. You're right. And, you know, humans are designed seeking animals, so... It could yeah. just be that hers is also a scar. You know how like Dumbledore has a scar on his leg that looks like the London Underground? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He uses it as a mat. That's just a good coincidence. Maybe it's like that. I don't know. What do you think that sword would sound like in reality? Whoop, 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 yeah, it would be kind of had to be like a big piece of sheet metal or something, right? Well, like a thin piece of sheet metal, so it would be like really high-pitched, right? So it wouldn't be like, it wouldn't yeah. be like a thunder sheet. No. It would be like... Yeah. Like, like a ruler. I thought like of a that. a metal ruler. I was thinking of it halfway through, and I was like, I think that would have been better. Just because right now it's kind of more just conventional sword sounds. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I, I kept imagining it in my head, and then maybe that was distracting me from the actual d- sound design. Although it might be a bit comical, too. It might be, but I don't know. It, there's, it, at the very least, it would have been a little more unique. You but could definitely, the thing unique enough. You I could definitely throw that flavor in there yeah. in one of those, like... The little tiny shortcut scenes where yeah. they like change the character's art style to more chibi. Yeah. And, and well, like, you watch like comical. When stuff. you watch like old Chinese movies and they're using that like spring steel, like that wide spring steel, and they kind of have that sound in because that's what it actually sounds like. Yeah. There's something about that I love. But I might just be worried about that. And you're probably right. It's probably, they could have even tried it and been like, nah, it doesn't work. But I don't know. If I was the sound designer, I would have tried it first. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, her uh, her backstory, I mean, I thought it was very compelling. Um, you know, the the societal pressure of what her gender role should be versus who she is and how she should be appreciated. Yeah, and how like, she wants yeah. to live, you know. Yeah, like, fuck that guy. Like, people deserve to be with somebody that loves you for you. And that's, all, that's I think, the secret of happiness, you know. it's It's kind of the... When you're young and you're a kid, especially when you're entering into, uh, like, school, like, society pressures. Like, you just want to be like everybody else, right? Sure. You want to conform. You want to not stand out. But then you hit a certain part of adulthood and where you're like, oh, actually, that's the most valuable part of me, <laughs> you know? So it's cool to see that play out in an anime well, yeah. about sword fighters fighting demons. You learn as a kid, like, in order to make friends and fit in... Like, I have to be like everybody else because, yeah. like, people with similarities mm-hmm. get along, right? Yeah. I mean, well, it's because just... when you're a kid, like, you just assume everything, like, all the different institutions around you are like, well, they're that way for a reason, and that's and that's the yeah. best way to be. And then you realize, oh, no one knows what they're doing. And, and also, all it's the kind interesting of the worst. <laughs> yeah, in it a is lot kind of, ways. of the worst. Yeah. Huh. But yeah. no, uh, I mean, we don't get a, a, a ton of the uh, the Demon Slayer Master this season, but I did like his The God Smiled Upon You yeah, with all of her traits. And yeah, it was just nice to see her being appreciated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, there's also, like when the guy calls her, like, silence, you shameless tramp! <laughs> you yeah. know, she's like, what? You know, like, she does, she does have the... Uh, her character design has the feeling of, okay, here's the character design, and then like a suit came in, it's like make her sexier, so the you know the boys like it, you know. Sure. So there's still that, but I felt that way last season with the uh, you know the three wives and, and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's not that big of a deal. But when she said that, I in my head it was going like, I object to calling her shameless. I don't think she feels shame that way. But no, then yeah, the show well you know tells her like no, she feels shame for different reasons. Yeah. Because, you know, now she gets to actually well, be who she is. Because the show itself has said, like, yes, she is incredibly popular with the boys. She just has yeah. no idea that 
she's yeah, that attractive. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So mm-hmm. she wouldn't feel shame for something that she is not aware of. Yeah. No, and, and all of my objection to that has nothing to do with like, I think she should cover it up, you know, or anything like that. No. It's like, I think it would be difficult to fight. Like that, personally. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, you know, like... Jiggly? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little jiggly, too. Like, it can be difficult when you're trying to be precise in your movement. Though, I mean, sometimes it can... It's nice, too. I don't know. Yeah. Plus no matter. It's like a dead boy hammer. I guess so. But, I mean... <laughs> I, I suppose there was that line in there too about her, like the appearance of her physique belays her actual true mental mm-hmm. density, right? So there is the advantage of seeing someone that looks that way and underestimating them. So. Oh, yeah. Definitely. But it doesn't feel like she does that on purpose. No. In a way, right? Again, I, th- I think she's just not as aware about her physique yeah. and appearance yeah. as other people. Mm-hmm. And she doesn't rely on that misconception sure. for advantage in any way. She's just that part of her is not important to her, you know? Yeah. yeah. So what do you think the demon crest like could be? Like how do you get one? I don't know. I feel like it's it's something because it's a demon crest. I yeah. feel like it's something bestowed by a demon, like maybe I don't know. Maybe it's like a deal with the devil kind of thing. Hey, if I like do this thing for you, then you bless my lineage mm-hmm. with strength. Or maybe they were enslaved by demons like hundreds of years ago, kind of thing. Yeah, like a maybe like an ownership mark or something like that. Gotcha. And then maybe the magic has changed or something like that. Or maybe. Or is it like a cart before the horse thing where, like, maybe the demons, maybe the crest is like a the common denominator that you can split off from human and demon? Or sure. Something. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really sure what all the possibilities could be, but I think we're getting closer. Yeah. I mean, she I, definitely has, like, the, the four-leaf clover heart. Yeah. Like, the, the hearts pointing in towards yeah. each other kind of motif. Yeah, all over. Yeah, she does. Yeah, like it's the hilt of her sword mm-hmm. and that as well. And like her she's, crow has a little hat on it. Yeah, that has that as well. She's naturally strong. It's not because like it's not like she ate a bunch and then became strong. She's strong and thus needs to eat a bunch. Right. Yeah. It's it's very Saiyan. It's very mm-hmm. Goku. Um. Okay. Yeah, she lifted a, yeah. a pickling stone that weighed more than her when yeah. she was. <laughs> tiny <laughs> she did <laughs> all right well that was another fun episode of demon slayer mm-hmm. and number two on my dumbest anime moments of all time but I, I will still put yeah. goku above because i don't know you watch that for longer oh yeah i mean yeah i, I i'm pretty sure the toonami intro which was like rock the dragon right for a long time and then I think it might have changed around the Frieza saga, but it was all the way up until Goku turned that I was just waiting for a new character to be introduced. I'm like, man, he seems so prominent. Yeah. It's like he's a main character or something. He's and he's kinda like he's wearing like he's wearing like what Goku Goku has under his but that's you know, Goku would always wear his gi. But he's wearing yeah. like the blue shirt under his gi? That's weird. Yeah. That is weird. I'm so dumb. <laughs> I was dumb and I continue to be dumb. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Demon Slayer. We're hoping that you're enjoying our reactions and discussions to Season 3. And we have one One more episode. And uh, you can wait till next week, or you can go to blindwave.com, check out uh, Blind Wave Beyond, and get it right now.